I first started in 1980 uh, to practice in Orlando, actually, unfortunately, now I'm the longest <laughs> practicing oncologist in that area, we had a handful of drugs that were really effective in chemotherapy to treat patients. Uh, now we have hundreds, and we just don't use chemotherapy. We use immunotherapy, targeted therapy. We do molecular profiling. The state of the treatment of oncology has changed so dramatically. The toxicities are, are so far uh, able to be um, handled without any significant stress on, on the patients um, that it's a completely new field, and I've been able to see this evolve. Uh, it's remarkable, and the treatments are much more better tolerated. Um, we've expanded our repertoire. Um, for all advanced cancers, we'd like to do molecular profiling because we can find instead of chemotherapy, we might be able to use targeted therapy, much less toxic, or we can use hormonal therapies that you hear about. Um, the state of the art is changing dramatically. Every month there's a new treatment for a different disease. Uh, we have to keep up with it. Um, but it's a very challenging field, but also very rewarding because when I started, as you say, we were giving bad news all the time. And that's different now. We give a lot of good news. When I started in, in the profession of oncology, we would gear our treatment dependent on the site of origin of the tumor. And that if you had a colon cancer or breast cancer or lung cancer, you would be eligible for certain chemotherapy drugs that are most effective in those particular tumors. We don't do that anymore. Uh, for advanced cancers, we do molecular profiling um, because we found that actually it's more effective to use a targeted approach to get the molecular gene abnormality treated and that this goes across the spectrum of different cancer sites of origin. Clinical trials actually provide the patient with the best type of treatment. It gives the latest treatment versus something that might be better. The patients are watched a little more closer by not just one doctor but by a multitude of doctors so you get that input as well into their clinical care. We have a network that's very easily accessible through Florida Cancer Specialists because all our data is easily analyzed by different um, clinical groups to determine if a patient is eligible for a particular new drug. Um, it's very helpful for treating these patients in a community setting because they want to stay there. They don't want to go to an NCI designated center to get the same result and have to travel miles away. We do that all in our office location locally. Well, every patient is extremely unique. Um, we're not just talking about the cancer that they may harbor with a genetic mutation, uh, but the circumstances are different. Um, cancer is different than other diseases because it just doesn't affect the patient, it affects the patient's family, and there's a tremendous emotional overlay. So we do our best in our office to provide for all those needs. Um, we realize you're just not treating a patient, you're treating a whole environment that the patient has to live in. Um, we try and make it as easy as possible for them. Um, it's a very difficult field for them to navigate. We know, as we talked earlier, about the anxiety many patients have when they're faced with cancer as a diagnosis, so we like to make that road as smooth as we can.